Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to show how to remove this card guide, this clear card guide. Clean it, reinstall it, and line it up. So this one is dirty, dirty. Clean ones, or new ones, look like that. Quite a difference. Although some of the new ones I have brand new are yellowed like that. In fact, the majority of the ones I have brand new are, have a yellow tint to them already. I'm pretty sure that they came clear like this. But for whatever reason, they have yellowed over the years. They're probably just old, old stock. So to remove this guide, it's pretty simple. It's these two screws right there. Just loosen them up, maybe two turns. One, two. And this guy will slip right on out of here to the top here, just like that. Don't have to do anything else. So let's set the machine aside and get busy with this cleaning this card guide I just took out. Like I said, here's a yellowed one, here's a, a perfect clear one. We're going to try to get this, this one to look more like that one. So let's start by cleaning it with some soap. This is just a simple green. So we're just going to start by giving it a brush off. Get all that loose, loose enough crud off of here. cleaner so we're gonna have to get further than that although that did help quite quite a bit actually it's not it's getting there so next trick is find me a section of rag here and I'm gonna put some oil on it in particular some red oil here. Uh, a little bit of red. And I'm going to rub it on the plastic portion. Rub it, rub it, rub it. And just pretty aggressive with this without breaking the glass. Well, it looks pretty good already. A little piece of stuff in here. There's a little piece of white out right there. Let's peel that off with your fingernail. It's got a hairline crack right there. That's not too bad. Boy, this cleaned up with just some oil. Usually, with this oil, I have to take a couple drops of lacquer thinner. I mean, just a drop. Let's get a drop out of this tube here. Put one drop right there. Put that right on there. And then rub it with the lacquer center as a polisher. It's a finisher. Lacquer center will melt plastic, but when it's combined with the oil, it, it cleans remarkably well without... There's a tiny bit of whiteout right there. Hard to see it right there. I'm going to try to get that off with a drop. One drop of this slack of thinner in the oil. Get one drop out of here. One drop. There it is. One drop. There's one drop. I'm going to rub that spot right there. And it just came right off in the rag right there. And there it is. It's still there. The red lines are still there. That's about near perfect. That's not bad at all. That's all. That little crack there. So there's a new one. Not too shabby. 
and of course there's a new yellowed one which the old one is better so let's put it back in that's our final process here it's just a reverse order pretty simple uh, process so it just fits back in here and you can kind of see the black frame it fits right in there and then just snug it up a little bit just a little and just a little this side so we can still move it I'm pretty sure that line is where I want it but I'm going to go ahead and type another fresh line you know what I would like to do too? See how this is not flat against the, the roller? There's a little gap there. It's probably acceptable gap, but I'm going to actually make an, another adjustment on this. So I'm going to take this back out. And I'm going to bend it. This is a pretty tough steel to bend, but I want it to go forward a little more, so I'm going to, I'm going to grab my good wrench right here. And I'm going to hold this frame. This would be the... I'm going to bend it this way just a little. Just a little. That's spring steel and it's really, uh, it bends, but you got to be careful. So that side now is a little more than that side. I'm going to match this side to that side. Just a little bit of, a little bit of forcing it over. ink on there so let's wipe that off some more. Get that back to square one. Find my uh, oil spot on this. It's right there. Let's rub that down one more time. Let's try it again. Let's see how she works. Now we'll put it back in. flush against the paper but not too tight not too loose just right so let's type a line on here some letters that got a flat line on the bottom like an N it is. So we want to get that red line raise it up to the bottom of the end there. Let's do this side. Right there. So it's just ever so slight that end right there is perfect. I think this side is good too. Let's take it down see if it gets any closer. There we go. Tighten that down. He's good to go. Looking good again. All right. 
Phoenix typewriter is how you do a clear card guide on a Smith Corona. Good day.